All right. The time is, the time is, it's time for another review. And before I try this, I'm actually a little bit nervous. Never tried something like this before. I could be allergic. I could die. And then the question of the bag, was this review worth it? If I die, probably not. But then again, it could save someone else from eating this. I will admit, I'm going into this review with a little bit of bias, a um, little bit uh, speculative of eating something called beef jerky that does not have any meat. Peesh. I was checking out at Walmart, saw this there, and said, there's no way I can't try it. I'm a beef jerky boy. But am I, am I a beyond meat jerky boy? We'll find out. First, I'm going to compare some of the ingredients with a case or a bag of Broncos Billies that I got the other day at Sheets. This was pretty good. It was a little too chewy, but the, t the taste was good. It just kind of your jaw hurt after you ate a whole bag. Um, so dentists might not like it. But all right, so the first ingredient in the Bronco Billies is beef. Thank God, you know, right? It's beef jerky. But on the Beyond Meat, the first ingredient listed is water. Am I going to be drinking this? I hope not, but we'll see. Second ingredient listed is bung bean protein. This is the Beyond Meat, by the way. Then brown sugar, pea protein, natural foot, P as in P-E-A. Felt like I needed to explain that. Um, YouTube audience, especially on my page, probably not the brightest, so P-E-A. Natural flavors, gluten-free oat bran and fiber, salt, oil, canola oil, vinegar, lemon juice, blah, 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 pomegranate, garlic, citric, sunflower. Okay, a lot of bullshit in here. So we'll see if it amounts to the taste of beef. Just to go over the ingredients a little bit on the Bronco Billy's beef, number one ingredient, then soy sauce, and then water, soy protein, corn syrup. You know the Beyond Meat people don't like corn syrup. Get high fructose. If you're eating Beyond Meat shit, you definitely care about high fructose corn syrup. Not me. So, all right. Don't care about this anymore. Let's open this up. This is the first time I'm trying it. Opening it, as you can see, right away. Smells like beef jerky with like a dog food aftertaste, after smell. It looks like beef jerky, but it, it, it literally looks like the beef jerky you give it to a dog as a treat. It's kind of what it feels and smells like too. So I have always been tempted to try the dog treats. So I never got the balls to do it. So maybe this will be next best thing. Holy fuck, is this, this is chewy. I can't even bite it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this isn't good. Little like, it's like peeling, you know? Will I finish the bag? Maybe. But I'm also overweight, so what does that tell you? I finished most things I open, but man, if anyone goes out and gets this, I'm telling you, you're gonna the dog food reference will definitely, um, you know, uh, it it you'll agree with me. I can't think of the word that I want to use right now, but you will also think this tastes like and smells especially like dog food. So. Maybe it's cheaper. This was only like, this whole thing was only like $2.50. So there's a good amount in here. So it could even be cheaper than dog food. Um, could be an option. 
if you're on a budget for your dog. But for me, this was a three, seven out of 10. Nothing really good about this. Except for the fact if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, this is probably the closest thing that you can get to good old beef jerky. But that's a review, three, seven. For reference, I give Jack Links around a six, nine, seven. Um, so this is really bad. Um, and Jack Links is just average. So that's the review. Take it easy, everyone. Uh, yeah, don't buy this.